First tonight, what exactly is an invasive species? Well, National Geographic says it's an organism that is not indigenous or native to a particular area. Invasive species can cause great economic and environmental harm to the new area. Well, a couple of examples of invasive species here in Maine include the European green crab, which feed on shellfish resources, and the emerald ash borer, which can kill ash trees. Good evening and thanks for joining us here on New Center Maine at 530. I'm Zach Blanchard. Chris Costa is off tonight. Scientists in Maine are carefully watching a new invasive species close to making its way into the state. New Center Maine's David Guilford tells us how the zebra mussel is posing a threat to Maine's ecosystem. There's an invasive species of animal knocking on Maine's door to the north, and it could only be a matter of time before it's here. The Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife reported zebra mussels have been spotted fewer than 30 miles from Maine in waterways that flow into the St. John River in both Quebec and New Brunswick and potential infestations in the Madawaska River. State Aquatic Invasive Species Coordinator Dakota Stankowski explained fully grown adults can just be the size of a thumbnail and can easily sneak around in and on boats. But why are they bad for Maine? One of the cool things about shellfish is they're typically wonderful for an ecosystem. They take in nutrients, filter out bad stuff, and leave cleaner water behind. The zebra mussel is especially skilled at this, a little too skilled. And as a result, this, there's this kind of cascading effect through the food web where there just isn't enough available nutrients in the system to support our native species. Um, but in addition, zebra mussels, especially in the Great Lakes region, have been pretty damaging on sort of infrastructure, so they can kind of clog up intake pipes on dams or anything like that. Um, and eventually, if they reach the point where they're really heavily established, they can do the same thing on boat motors, for example, and kind of clog up some intake pipes that way. Stankowski said teams would be installing PVC screens on the main side to see if mussels came in and attached themselves to it. She also said the best way for us to help is to clean and dry our boats in that area when we pull them out of the water. In Augusta, David Guilford, New Center, Maine.